Testing, testing, one, two, three. Now, for those of you who would like to know, this is the second time that I'm recording this because I forgot to press record, but never mind. Let's get on with it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. This is Fitness and Nutrition Simplified. It's the podcast where I'm going to break down big, important topics into simple, easy to understand ideas. I mean, if you've been floating around health, fitness, nutrition, and getting healthier goals or getting a bit fitter, if you've been floating around that sort of thing, then you might be familiar with the term metabolism. But today we're going to be talking about metabolic syndrome. Now, this might sound like a really complicated term, and it mm, kind of is. But listen, don't worry, we're going to make it super easy that anyone can understand. First of all, what is it? Metabolic syndrome. So imagine your body is like a car. For your car to run smoothly, all you need is all of the parts to work well together. Metabolic syndrome is when a few things in your body aren't really working as well as they should be. Now specifically, it's a combination of conditions that can happen at the same time. High blood pressure. Too much visceral fat. This is too much fat around your belly. And high blood sugar. And unhealthy cholesterol levels. Now when these things happen together, they can cause huge problems. Now this is kind of like your car's engine, tires and brakes. They all had issues at the same time. They can cause some serious issues. So why is metabolic syndrome bad? Well, when these different conditions team up, they can make your body sick in some very serious ways. And again, too much belly fat, eh, that can be seen as, yeah, he's got a beer belly. That would have high blood pressure, well, he enjoys a little bit of, he enjoys too much fatty foods every now and again, it's a bit of fast food. Okay, high blood sugar unhealthy cholesterol levels, when all these team up, they can make your body sick in some serious ways. It can lead to some bigger issues, heart disease, diabetes, or stroke. If your car breaks down in the middle of the road, it can cause a huge mess. It's a jam. We need our body not to to break down in the middle of the road. If your body has metabolic syndrome, it's like a warning sign, a big neon sign. Beep, beep, beep. It's telling you that you need to make some changes to stay healthy. I mean, sometimes, most most of, most often than not, we'll take our car take our car into the mechanic. Can you do something to fix it? It needs a bit of fixing. Why don't we take care of our bodies in the same way. You need to take care of your body and prevent these bigger problems from happening. So what can cause it? We've obviously caused, we've obviously said that, you know, body fat around the belly, high blood pressure, high blood sugars, etc. So how? There's a few reasons why you might develop it. I mean, sometimes it runs in the family. Your parents, or if your grandparents have had it, you're more more likely to have it as well. But a lot of the time, it's because the way people live. Eating too much junk food, too much fast food, not getting enough exercise, gaining too much weight, especially around your belly. This can all lead to metabolic syndrome. Now, is it always bad? Metabolic syndrome means that your body isn't in the best shape. Good news is that you can do something about it, just like you can fix a car that's not working right. You can now help your body get back on track. If you've got metabolic syndrome, it's important to take it seriously. Remember that big neon sign above your head. Beep. Your body needs some extra care taking care of it. But with the right changes, you can improve your health and reduce the risk of those bigger issues we talked about earlier. 
if you've if you've got metabolic syndrome already or if you don't want it here are some ways we can prevent it eat healthy foods eating a balanced diet with lots of fruits lots of vegetables whole grains lean proteins this is like giving your body the best fuel it can try to minimize too much added sugars minimize too much healthy unhealthy fats and try and minimize all these salty snacks and get moving regular exercise is super important it keeps your heart and lungs strong and healthy keeps your body at a healthy weight and keeps your blood levels normal your blood sugar levels normal I mean, you don't have to run marathons. You don't have to become the world's strongest man. Just play outside, ride your bike, dance around the living room, take long walks, do things that you love to do. Walk. Walk the dog around the block. Walk along the beach. Ride your bike. Do things you love to do. Once you've got that healthy weight, maintain it. Keep your body at a healthy size. Again, especially around your belly. This can help prevent and improve. This can help prevent or improve, if you've already got it, the metabolic syndrome. And again, it's like making sure that your car isn't carrying too much extra weight. If you've ever gone on like holiday and there's too many people and too many suitcases and too much heavy load in the car. It seems to uh, seem to grind down the road and it's not performing efficiently enough. That's exactly the same for your body. It's not performing efficiently enough. Now get enough sleep. Sleep is when your body gets to rest and recharge. Getting enough sleep every night Helps your body stay in balance. Stay calm and relaxed. Now stress can mess with your body's system in so many different ways. So find ways to relax. Deep breathing. Listening to calming music. Spending time with friends. This can all keep you healthy. Now, before we move on, I want to make sure that you've got everything you need, especially to get the most out of this episode. And that includes grabbing some of my new merch. So I'm going to have a little, um, in the show notes, have a little web link to my merch. I'm going to tell you about our cheap and cheerful tees. It's the ultimate Honestly, the ultimate in casual fashion. It's a nice relaxed fit. It's heavyweight fabric. And it's going to be a favorite among streetwear enthusiasts. It's made entirely of cotton. And it's as comfortable as it is stylish. And available in very colorful hues. Very, very vibrant. It's a classic regular fit. And it's 100% cotton everyone's favorite i'm going to put a little link in the show notes now with all of that set let's move on to what happens if you've already got metabolic syndrome so if you've already got it is it too late can you make the change now absolutely not it's not too late. If you've already got metabolic syndrome, it means that you need to start taking care of your body right now. Doctors might suggest a plan that includes eating healthier, exercising more, and sometimes taking medicine to help with things like the blood pressure and the blood sugar. It's like getting a tune-up for your car to make things run smoother. This makes things run smoother for your body. And the sooner you start making healthy changes, the better your body will feel. So let's recap. Recap what we've learned and let's go over. Metabolic syndrome is a combination of conditions that can make our bodies sick if we don't take care of them. It's a big warning neon sign, beep, 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 that we need 
to make some healthy changes right now, eating better, exercising more, and taking care of ourselves. The good news is with the right habits, now we can prevent or even get rid of metabolic syndrome. It's all about giving our bodies that care that we need to stay strong and stay healthy. Just like we would take care of our favorite car or bike. Listen, thank you so much. That's it for today. That's it for this episode of Fitness and Nutrition Simplified. Thanks for joining me to learn about metabolic syndrome. I hope you found it interesting and helpful. And please, 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 please subscribe and please share. Don't forget to share what you've learned with your friends and your family. And be sure to come back next time for another fun, another educational chat. Thank you so much for listening. And until next time, take care.